to my channel. My name's Louise. In my household, it's me, my 21 year old son, and my dogs, Chip and Dale. I do have a daughter, she's 25. She's not living at home anymore though. She has her own place. I'll be doing a haul today, and I do a haul every Saturday. I also do a video every Wednesday at the moment. I'm trying to keep up with it, I'm doing okay. The video on a Wednesday is different things. It could be food related, dog related, it's pretty much whatever is going on at the time in my life, I guess. Uh, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, like, share, and let's get on with the haul. We have a big bag of carrots, 52p, that's really good. Corey wants a cottage pie tonight, so that's gonna go in there and we're gonna have a chicken casserole this week. So I've got a bag of them. Usually I would just buy a small tin because we're not massive carrot eaters in this house, so, but there you go. Bought some spinach, I've been fancying spinach for a while and I decided not to bother with the lettuce because I don't like cooked spinach. So this will last me ages and I'm the only one that eats it, so. We got a big bag of potatoes. I say big bag, so this is a pound. You can't see the numbers on it, can you? So this was a pound, and the potatoes in Asda for a long time have been a pound, but what I did notice when I picked it up, I thought, oh, it's a small bag. It is, it's a two kilogram bag, and they were 2.5 kilograms for a pound, so they just reduced the size of the bag, but charging the same price, a bit cheeky. And this is another one. So the peppers. This is the cheaper bag, which was 99p. My focus in is rubbish. So yeah, this is the smaller bag, which is 99p normally, and the larger one would be £1.15. But now the smaller bag is £1.15, and the larger one is £1.35. So yeah, we're having to pay a little bit more for everything now. Cherries was not on my list, but they do look pretty good. Only a pound, and I know this sounds silly, but they took the stalks off. That makes all the difference. <laughs> was out tomatoes. I love my tomatoes. Corey fancied strawberries. Two pounds for that big planet, and there's quite a lot in there, so I thought that was pretty good. Avocado. So. There was two in a pack for £1.25, uh, no, £1.29, but they were ripe. These are the ones that you ripen at home, £1.25 for four, so it's a no-brainer. I don't mind my eating. And my cucumber. So that's all the fresh bit, I think. Yep. So frozen bits, I got bought a corn roast. This does me, I'm the only one who's going to eat it, and it does me for so many meals. It, it's £3 for that, it's way cheaper for me to buy this and slice it up as sandwich me or I'll have it with a meal or whatever than it is to buy the corn fake sliced meat slices because they're really expensive so anybody who likes corn this is a better way of doing it because it's only three pound for that probably said that already i'm into ice creams at the moment uh we thought we'd give these a go they're 90p and they're, I guess, the Asda's version of a Magnum. And mag if you eat Magnums, they're really expensive. So for 90p, we're going to give it a go. We'll see. The Cornets. Now, these, I got two boxes because they, they have not had them in for a while. I had to buy the Cornettos a few weeks ago because I really fancied these cones. And the Cornettos, if anybody is in England that knows that that is like the make to have, and I didn't like them, I didn't eat them, and they're about three times the price of these, so we bought an extra box, because as we all know, the stocks in stores at the moment are not the best. Corey always has pizza, always has some southern fried chicken thing, and chips, he eats them all the time, so we always get that. And sausages. I love these sausages. I try not to get them too often. I get them way up more often than I should. Uh, two fifty for one, or two for four pounds. 
Okay, so my, my end of this camera is showing me that this is not focused. I don't know if it is or not. But this one is caramelized red onion. And this one is the Welsh cheddar and smoked bacon. This is my absolute favorite, but they only have one packet. So we're going to have a sausage and mash. Well, it was going to be sausage and Swede mash, but I couldn't get any Swede mash. So I may have to go shopping again. What else to say? Diced chicken. We're going to have a curry this week. I have all the rest of the ingredients for the curry. And we're also going to have a chicken casserole at some point. My favourite fajita barbecue seasoning. It's up to 99p. I'm sure it was 80p before. It was completely out. Blossom come last week and we had Mexican and she used the whole packet. I use it very sparingly, but that'll teach me to not pay attention. Corey loves pasta bakes. We was getting the makes before. Then I found this. They didn't have the make in, so I, I saw this. 21p this is, and he said he can't tell the difference. So for 21p, I'm saving well over a pound. So bargain. We like a bargain. Butter, oh, it's just a staple, always get it. Always get a slab of cheese, probably getting a bit too many stored up in the fridge. It, but again, we don't know what the stocks are gonna be and I am probably over buying a little bit to compensate. Six pints of semi-skim milk, that's standard. I have two pure orange juices. I fancied them for a few weeks and they haven't had any, so I picked two up whilst they had it. Mayonnaise is just a standard. Corey gets through a lot of this, so we always pick one up. Always get a coffee. I get through about that amount a week. So I really should buy a couple for a few weeks because there are times when, again, that's another thing they don't have in. Got him a pasta sauce just to go in, just as a backup. Now this, Fry Light. I love Fry Light. Um, not, I don't use lots of fats when I'm cooking, just... It's my per personal preference, that's the only reason. And I always get the vegetable oil one, but they didn't have that, it was not a choice. It was the coconut oil or the butter. So I thought we'd go for the butter. And it was reduced, I believe it was two pounds at the moment, so it was a little bit off. It's not great, but better than nothing. I got some balsamic glaze. I don't know if, I hope this is all focused because none of this looks focused to me. So balsamic glaze uh, on Instagram and somebody did the, you know, tomatoes and cheese with the glaze over the top and just looks really good. So we'll give that a go with something. Garlic mayo, just cause. Custard is just to sit in the cupboard because we don't have any. Beans and sausage, I like to have them in and beans anything we use during the week, I'm replacing those things and then trying to get extras to keep stocked up. Passata is to make a sauce to go with, and I may be saying this wrong, I think it's called gnocchi. Uh, we had it ages ago in a ready meal, I believe. Corey liked it, so I bought the gnocchi bit and we've just never used it. So we're going to try and make a sauce to go with that. These were, I just fancied a mousse. And they were a pound for six, so again, bargain. The crap bit, Corey got the cookie crumble because he didn't know they did a cookie crumble when he saw it, he wanted to get it. I've got some double deckers and we've got some Kit Kats and the biscuits just to sit in the cupboard. Now I found this, it doesn't say it's new, but I've never seen this one before and it's raspberry Fanta at £1.50 and the Dr Pepper was £1.50. Now I... Sure, I've mentioned to maybe the haul before that that Dr. Pepper in Asda has been 220. It went up to 220, but it wasn't 220 everywhere else. And I was not happy with that, so I was having to go to Iceland to get it. But when we was in there today, the sticker says rollback. Now I don't know what rollback means. Is is that permanent or just for a while? But they're both 150, so hopefully that's permanent. <laughs> This was bargain, £2 for that lot. The small one was one fifty. both good prices for Ribena because Ribena is expensive and I do not get Ribena that often. I usually just get own brand make. Uh, that's to go nuns, to go with the curry. 
I watched a lot of hauls this week and there was a few people who bought these. They said they'd watched hauls and had and the people that they'd watched the hauls said they were really good. So they got the, the tomato and herb. Both I think I've seen about two hauls and they both said the same thing. So I haven't had actually seen a haul with somebody that's tried them. So again, now you're watching one with somebody who's not tried them. They're supposed to be really good. I will try to remember to let you know if they are any good. Cheese top baguette. I have been at work six days. This was my last day this week. I went straight shopping after and I fancied it as a treat. Brown bread just cause we ain't got any. Oh, I've got this tablecloth. I've been after the tablecloth for ages. Keep going in the shop, keep seeing them. Looking at them and think, oh, there's six pounds in Asda. And I keep looking at them and then I walk away and I'm, I don't know what it was. This one was £4.50. That's probably what attracted me to it. And then I was thinking, I always go boring. I always go adult colours, adult themes. And they're doggies. So <laughs> we call it. That was a long explanation for a tablecloth. Um, my dog's favourite dog food. Because they're out. And I saw these. They're chickpea sticks barbecue flavour a pound for six and I just thought they sounded really good and thin bleach for cleaning I think that's all of it I believe so so I forgot to mention as well how much the shop came to <laughs> so the shop came to 62.73 so it wasn't too bad a little bit over my budget but only by a couple of quid and I didn't actually get everything either. There was no toilet roll for me to get. But there was toilet roll, but it was way out of my budget. Uh, it was the expensive stuff and I will just go somewhere else. So that was this week's haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I think this was a better one than my usual ones. My usual ones, or well, the past few of them, I've been saying they just don't feel right. This one feels better. I think I've stocked up better this time couple of meal ideas I don't normally have meal ideas that often either so hopefully that was a good one hope you enjoyed it uh, shopping experience was hmm social distancing completely out of the window obviously a lot of people wearing masks now even though it's not mandatory yet think that has the opposite effect on a lot of people though because the people that from my experience today they were wearing the masks so clearly they're under no obligation to do anything else. They're touching their face and they're going too close to people, but it seems to be the thing now. It is what it is, we just have to deal with it. So yeah, I'm a little bit nervous about the whole, how the shop's gonna go next week will be interesting because it will be mandatory by then. We'll see if people's attitudes change towards anything. We'll see, I don't know. Um, what else? Oh. I used the click and go for the second time. So I went shopping with Blossom last week and I forgot to mention, first time I used the click and go and I'm quite impressed. All this time I've been doing that, putting the trolley up, taking it out of the trolley, put it on the conveyor belt and then putting it back in your trolley. And now, easy. Why did nobody ever tell me how easy this thing was? They've changed everything in Asda. I don't know if it's just my Asda or if they're working on all of them. There's a, I would say, three quarters of the checkouts are all self-serve now. Uh, you've got your click and go ones. And then there's two, and I don't know what the difference is. Apparently, one set's called hybrid. Don't know what that is. And the other ones are just normal self-serve checkouts. I think there's about two or three um, man, manned, <laughs> man, woman, um, tills at the end apart from that you've got to do it yourself now and that's it hope you enjoyed and i will see you on wednesday for whatever wednesday is going to be i don't even know yet i hope you're all doing really really well yeah bye